Hello guys, we're back again. We're back again. Yes. Technicalities. We are learning slowly, bit by bit. Yeah. Welcome back to Adonai's Kingdom. As we carry on from where we we've just stopped. Oh, we are talking. We were, we are talking about the. Uh, I mean. The message today is just, it's just strong. We were, we were in uh, Hebrews. The Hebrews, we are, we are in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 16. Whereby we were talking about the, when you are listening to the word, you don't have to follow people. Follow Jesus. Uh, and he'll take you to enter into the Holy of Holies. In verse 20. By a new and living way opened for us through the curtain. That is his body. Yeah. I mean... Christ Jesus just opened up for us. You know, they say the veil was cut into two. And that cut, that veil, that curtain, was his body. You see, we are being told, we are in, by a new and living way. Our, we are in a new and living way for us through the curtain. That is his body, Yeshua's body. By, okay, and... Uh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us uh, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart, in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience, and having our bodies washed with pure water. Twenty-three. Let us hold. And swaveling, or unswaveling in the hope we profess. For he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another toward the love and good deeds. These are the things, good deeds and love. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing. But let us encourage one another and all the more as you see the day approaching if we deliberate deliberately if we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received the knowledge of the truth no sacrifice for sins is left so you should not sin deliberately and we need to encourage each other these are command by meeting passing messages to each other so that we can all grow. That's why I keep saying, let's spread the word. Let's spread the word of the Lord, our God. So guys, you've seen that. And also, I wanted to check on our Proverbs. All these commands, if we follow them, blessings will follow. Prosperity will follow you. So if we look at uh, Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 3. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them round your neck. Write them in the tablet of your heart. Now it's love and faithfulness. Let it never leave you. you no, know, because if you start, if you love your neighbors, you start loving strangers already. That's a good sign showing that you can love God and God will love you back more. In the same Proverbs chapter 7 verse 1 to 3. My son, keep my words and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will, you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them at the tablet of your heart. These are the words of the Most High. We just have to keep the words and nobody is going to take advantage of you completely. 
if uh, we look at uh, the second book of Corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 to 3 you yourself are our letter written on our hearts you yourselves you yourselves are our letter written on our hearts known and read by everybody you sh you show that you are a letter from Christ the result of your many of our ministry written not with ink but with the spirit of the living God not on tablets of stone but on tablets of human hearts also this one is very important if you are a child of God there you are a letter of Christ people will be reading you people will be looking at you and copying you because you represent them you are an ambassador of the most high God so I mean it's just simple continue being a letter and doing God's work and finally in Deuteronomy 30 verse 18 to 20 we are told I declare to you this day that you will surely perish and that you will not live long days on the land for, to which you are crossing the Jordan to come and take possession of. This day I call upon the heaven and the earth as a witness. You know, these messages that I'm passing, it's not me. So you might be there in your room listening to it. The Lord God says, because I'm just saying his words, I'm a messenger. So the Lord says, this day I call upon the heaven and the earth as witnesses that I have warned you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. You shall choose life so that you and your offspring will live. To love the Lord your God, to listen to his voice, to cleave to him. For that is your life and the length of your days. To dwell on the land which the Lord swore to your forefathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, to give them. In Yeshua's mighty name, Amen and Amen and Amen. If you are there, you are still confused. It's about the kingdom of God. We dwell there, we live there, we breathe the kingdom, we talk the kingdom. We sleep the kingdom, and you want to be. If you want to be part of it, just say these words after me: Father, I come before you. I am a sinner. Show me your way. Teach me. Forgive me of all my sins. Show me the rightful way. I want to be a child of God. I choose life. I don't choose death. Bless me. Guide me. In Yeshua's mighty name, I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and he rose again on the third day and he seated on your right hand side. I accept him as my personal savior in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If you said that prayer, you are part of the kingdom. Join a church near you, get a Bible. New King James Version, start reading the Bible and join a church and guys will guide you, brothers and sisters will guide you. And for my brothers and sisters out there, whoever is listening, I'm praying for you, God bless them mightily. Let them understand the way to prosperity. Let each and every one of them understand the word. Let them not follow people blindly across the seas the other side of the country seeking saying that I'm going to seek the word on the mountain I'm going to the rivers in the valleys and yet you've just told us it's on our hearts inside our, our on the table of our hearts in our mouth and in our minds father Lord bless my viewers each and every one of them in whatever they do in their plans be with them O oh father guide them and those who are sick, Father, heal them, touch them, for they are your children. In Yeshua's mighty name, amen and amen. Thank you, guys.
thank you for being a child of God. I celebrate you. I celebrate you. The angels celebrate. Heaven is happy about you. Just keep walking in the kingdom and let's spread the word. Pass it over. Share the videos. Share the videos to everyone all over the world. This is our mandate that we've been given to share the word in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen and amen. See you next time, guys. Goodbye and God bless.